Hello, this is Malorian, and this will be a 2,000 point game of my orcs up against some Warriors of Chaos. So my brother got some more Chaos stuff. Uh, in particular, he was really excited about this Valkia model. You know, really cool where you get to st stay inside a unit and charge out, kill things, and all these other bonuses. So a very cool model to have. And, you know, going up against this, I'm now outside of the tournament, get to have some fun. So we got Super Orc. Alright, so we got some crazy terrain and stuff that made this kind of difficult, but we got meeting engagement, and funny enough, both of our generals started in reserve. So both Super Orc and Velkia will be in reserve. The only other thing that went in reserve was one of his units of dogs. Uh, we got full terrain here, so we got a whole bunch of force on the far side. We, there we have a, a, a Temple of Skulls, and on top of it is a Sorceress portal or whatever it is, the thing that's always casting magic. Uh, we have this one river over here, and we also have the one uh, Chimerian sand, quicksand, whatever the hell it is. So this, you know, a whole bunch of this stuff. Also, we have these arcane ruins on either side, so a whole bunch of different things. But uh, for my list here, going from left to the right following through this, is I have a giant. I am using for the first time my savage archers. Then I have a pump wagon. I have some spider riders, wolf riders, with shields. I got some night goblins with a fanatic and nets and all that good stuff. Then I have 50 orcs with shields and then there is my uh, black orc BSB who has the, the trickster helm. Uh, then I have a doom diver, a boar chariot, a wolf chariot, and also the savage orc uh, boar boys. And they have, you know, a shield. Now for his side, he actually deployed first, and what he has from left to right is some dogs, he has his marauders of corn with great weapons, then he has some chosen, and so they have halberds, and you know, they're, what, 18 or whatever it is, 6 wide, they have a champion there that lets them have the reroll, and what they ended up with was actually the plus one toughness, so they're going to be pretty damn strong and scary. Uh, then next up he has some warriors, they have the Mark of Tzinch, and they have shields, and they have the, the banner of the Blasted Standard. Then he has some unmarked knights, and then finally some more two units of dogs, I'm sorry, just right now one unit of dogs, there's a little spoiler, on the far right. So me looking at this after he deployed, I wanted to be farther back, and man, there is a lot of hard threats. You know, I'm pretty sure I can kill off the dogs on either side, and between my Doom Diver and the Chariots, kill off the Knights. Uh, also pretty sure that between my Savages and the Giant, I can deal with the Marauders, but then, man, his Horde of Warriors and that good size unit of Toughness 5 Chosen will be insanely tough. Then he also has his character coming in, who knows which way it's going to go, but once they hit any of my units, they're just going to fall apart. So I'm hoping I can use my throwaway units to kind of move away the horde and maybe try and hit the flank of Chosen and beat them through combat res, but we'll just have to kind of see how this plays out. So his turn one, because, you know, I didn't steal anything. Um, he had his dogs move over because, first of all, his marauders failed their test and had to charge, and they failed. They actually were showing their flank to the giant, so he moved the dogs there in order to block them. Uh, the Chosen are just really pushing up because, man, they don't care. Uh, the Warriors actually had to move back a little bit so that Valkia could join them, and that's really all that was going on over here. And then over here on this little side flank here, uh, you know, his knights move up a little bit, not too much, and then... Like I said, that second unit of dogs came on. And my first turn, I have some animosity issues, and my spider riders are forced to charge. Hooray! You know, it's it's one of those things I was thinking after I could have had them turned around, but I would have been equally screwed, because then he could have been not worried about me charging or doing anything, and he could just march right up into my face. So, just the way it goes sometimes, with animosity. And the thing that really had me scared after, as you can see the corner of it, is that I had my wolves here on the right, so I could at least redirect them after this all happened. Same thing with the warriors on stuff, but uh, the main thing is that if I die here, which I will, then I'll have to take a panic test. So, end of my turn, it looks like this, and as you can see there, hey look, my spiders were all slaughtered, and it panicked my wolf riders, so, <laughs> so much for that chaff I had. Uh, you can see Super Orc flying in there, ready to try and counter wherever he's needed. I actually moved my uh, Black Orc BSB over to my Night Goblins, because now I'll basically be a Toughness 6, where you have to re-roll to wound him, because of the Trickster's, trickster's Helm. Uh, my... 
pump wagon had gone into his wolves, smashed them, and luckily had overrun to be outside of the charge of the marauders. However, now it's also blocking the giant from being able to do a flank. So that was kind of unfortunate. Uh, otherwise, I do have the fireball ring on the black orc BSB, and he went and killed two marauders with it with irresistible force, and so that's the end of my magic. And then otherwise, I just got my chariots backing up on the right side, went to do a doom diver into his... Uh, knights and scattered. And way over on this side, my savages go and destroy those dogs, don't quite overrun off the board, and then that panics the other dogs, which I might as well tell you now, they're going to run off the board, so at least I have this going for me. And then on his turn two, this happened. So, you know, he's just kind of moving up and all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, decided to go for his gateway, got it with irresistible force, did it with strength 11, and just like that, uh, Super Orc is off the board. So no more Super Orc, no fun there, and uh, also no general for the Orcs. So that's going to be a fairly bad thing. Otherwise, it looks like this. Uh, his marauders went and reformed to face my giant and, well, also my pump wagon, just in case uh, I go into there. He is showing his flank to my savages, but, I mean, I'm going to need a 9 to get there, so he was willing to, to chance that. And, I mean, his chosen really just don't care about me, so they're just moving up, getting ready to get charged by whatever. Uh, Velkia and his unit decided not to charge the dogs, just because he... I'm not really sure. I think he's really wanting to charge in... Uh, Velkia to try and kill off my BSB so he's not wanting to push it up too far and right now he's getting kind of bogged up and his knights you know the the charge is too far so he's going to shuffle up a little tiny bit. My turn too then and I charge in with my savages so that was awesome I actually got off the nine so we'll see what these savage archers can do and then I go for this charge here into his chosen so I know they're going to kick my butt. However, with the netting, hopefully I can very much reduce that, especially with having the, the orcs in there as well. I'm going to be steadfast, and the hope is that my black orc with his great weapon can kind of chew them down. And then after, the way that this would be all lined up is that his... Uh, big unit will have to be forced to be in the front not many can actually get in I'll still be steadfast and then I can grind the chosen and kind of go on from there however as you can obviously see here I rolled double ones for my night goblins they didn't get in and uh, yeah I'm forced to be a little bit shifted over here just because I had to I had the whole night goblins then in the way but yeah well well my orcs are just gonna be in trouble now and so after my turn it looked like this uh, one of the things that you might be noticing is missing is his uh, knight unit, so that was awesome. Hit it with my Doom Diver, got tons of hits on it, and wiped them completely out, so that was pretty fantastic. I was pretty happy with that. Uh, otherwise, what happened in... Well, let's, let's start with the left first. In the left part, I had the pump wagon go into those marauders as well. The giant had to kind of just move up there. Uh, the maraud uh, the pump wagon killed a few, got killed back, and I really thought my savages would be going to town on that flank, but I rolled 3 plus as if it was like a 6 plus. It was ridiculous. It really was reminding me of the last game I had against Empire in that steam tank, but that's just the way it goes. Uh, I won, he was steadfast, and now he turned to face me. So, whatever. Uh, in the middle one, this really surprised me. He did not roll as well as he should have. Uh, I killed a few back because I got really lucky, and I ended up actually winning combat. Uh, he didn't break, which is, well, you know, that would have been kind of over the top maybe. But what I decided then to do was to go into Horde. And why, I don't know. I, I think the idea was that th now I can try and grind him down, but obviously now that means he'll be getting a lot more attacks on me. He'll be getting this charge in next turn as well, and then I'm not going to be steadfast, I'm going to break. So I was really upset as soon as I did this that I just felt like a complete retard. You can also see my wolves didn't rally, and they're also, you know, they're taking off. His turn three then, and this was this was bullshit, <laughs> to be completely honest here. Um, in the savage combat, you know, now he kills some of my stuff, but I really kill a lot of his. Uh, the funny thing here is that when he broke, I only rolled a three, thought that he was going to get away. He only rolled a three as well, so I caught him, so that was pretty cool. Uh, he came into my orcs with his, his horde of warriors, uh, killed 
tons of my guys. I was no longer steadfast. I broke. Uh, the way it was all set up, I was going to run off the board anyway because I had to hop over the night goblin. So he decided just to stay where he was. I think just to kind of hold the line and so he could deal with the night goblins. However, I failed my rerollable panic test with my night goblins and BSB and they run off the board. And I was, I was pretty salty at this point because I just lost my real core of my army. I've lost now my general, my BSB, two of my main blocks, and what can you do? So I was I was a little bit pissed off. I was not even with my giant, right? My giant can't even get to the flank of the warriors because my savages are blocking them. So it's just uh I it was just one of these things where now I'm just waiting to play it out to see how much I die. So in my turn three, there isn't much to do other than, well, not rally and then reform. And it looks really cool that I have them completely surrounded. There's just nothing I can do with it. <laughs> I shoot off my Doom Diver and I fail to kill anything. His turn four, and he really gave some thought to this deployment, and then pretty much just, you know, turned his, his backs to, went back to back to face me uh, in his magic phase, went and killed all of my boar boys with his uh, infernal gateway so they're all gone so another 100 points to, to him and then what he decided to actually do is put Velkia there in front of the giant so I thought that was a little bit risky and all this but what he was in his mind what he was wanting to do was to stop the giant from getting to the rear of the warriors which I really don't think would have been much of a threat but uh, you know we'll kind of see how this combat goes here Alright, so my savages fail animosity and have to charge, and really seriously the way it was, they might as well have. I mean, I guess I could have stayed out and done some shooting first and all this, but really, whatever. But the thing that was fantastic here is that mo most of the game, that whole sorcerer's portal, is just doing little bullshit things of like, uh, oh geez, the marauders with no armor are minus one armor. I mean, the same thing happened to my uh, giant, or the giant was initiative and weapon skill 10 when he was way off, going around the forest, so mainly not doing anything, killing the odd savage orc archer with a fireball just nothing too serious however in this case here it gave my savages wild form and that all of a sudden made it so i actually stood a freaking chance in this fight and uh whereas i thought this was just going to be a slaughter i actually did end up winning by two uh he did not break so damn you know didn't have that chance again but now that i know i didn't break him i'm in big trouble uh otherwise in the, the fight up above uh he does four wounds to my poor giant. Going back, well, okay, he did three wounds. Going back, I did the pickup thing, but, you know, he hit the three plus and the four plus to do the wound, so I did nothing. And then with my thunder stomps, I was able to do another wound, I think. Yeah, just one wound. But it was just one of those things where, you know, on a four plus, it could have gone either way, whether his character would have died or not, but unfortunately it went his way. Well, unfortunately for him. His turn five then, his horde of warriors go up just to kind of force the action. Uh, they try and do some magic, but he just rolls like crap. Uh, then on here on the left, you know, his his warriors go. Now I'm needing freaking sixes to wound him, so of course he kicks my butt, but at least I get away conserving the points. He also rolls low, so he doesn't get into the combat with my giant. And then in that combat there, again, the sorcerer's portal helps me out again, now puts wild form onto the giant. And to be fair, it didn't really matter because he totally whiffed his rolls anyway. And even without that, he wouldn't have done a wound to me. But the big thing is that then I'm stronger for my attacks going back. Killed Valkia, and now with Wild Form, I'm also ready to go into his, my, his Chosen on my next turn. So really getting a real turn of luck here. And he's now it's my opponent's turn to get pretty salty. So my turn five, I go into the Chosen, kill a ton of them. They can't manage to do anything back because they had some bad rolls, really. Uh, killed him down to four models so he wasn't steadfast. He broke and he got away. Uh, otherwise, my one board chariot is just backing up so it won't be a uh, viable target. And my wolf chariot is just moving to a spot where it's only taking one dangerous terrain when it flees a charge. His turn six, his chosen who are now too small need double ones to rally so they keep on running and his warriors decide that hey, you know, why bother trying to go for that charge when I'm just going to flee, might as well turn around to make sure that the giant's on my front and he can cast magic on me, but he gets a double one magic phase and of course can't cast the gateway with his level two, because that's all he has for his wizard is a level two in there, sorry, but uh, yeah, so kind of a flop of a turn. 
Then on my turn, the Savages Rally, and he really <laughs> wasn't a fan of this move. Uh, what I did is I charged the Chosen with my Giant, so they kind of ran over towards the river and did some dangerous terrain, and a couple guy dies, whatever. Then I charged them with my Wolf Riders, who had just rallied last turn. That sent them coming back towards me. Uh, you know, I didn't lose any going into the quicksand, luckily. And then I also charged it with my boar chariot, which brought them even closer. Uh, I survived my, you know, not crashing with my boar chariot. And then it turned out that it was only like a four inch charge for my giant. Boom, get all the points for the chosen. And, you know, that was huge for me. And I mean, whereas before I'd made this huge tactical error of going to horde in my orcs when I was just retarded. Now I kind of pulled up where I thought was a good move, but man, my, my brother really saw it as some pretty cheesy, greasy stuff. So <laughs> there you go. There's the end of the game. So we went and we added up all the points and all that good stuff, and it turned out to be a tie. Uh, actually, our, our scores were, you know, within 10 points type thing, and so that was pretty much as dead on as you can get. So if it wasn't for that chosen thing there at the end, he would have won. But, man, what a crazy game of, of back and forth, of just crazy things happening. You know, our generals both starting off, Super Orc getting killed with that there, you know, his uh, Valkia dying to my, my giant and all this stuff. And it's just one of those things where uh, we were talking about after that we both really don't like the Sorceress Portal. Um, it's one thing where I don't like the river when it's abused and you got this stupid river going all the way across the entire battlefield. But really, when you got this thing that you have to roll for every single magic phase, it just gets to be a real nuisance. And then sometimes it has major game-changing effects. Like where, first well, it was all about wild form, right? Where my savages get wild form when they're going in, and then my giant gets wild form just when he needs it. So it's just one of those things where a randomness to the game and this one seems to add almost too much randomness to the point where it's becoming a hassle. But hey, it's part of the game, uh, something that comes up now and then. Uh, otherwise, it was kind of interesting how normally when me and my brother play, we're, we're both, you know, we're, we're fun gamers and all those things, and we both have lots of fun and all this stuff, uh, especially when we're playing against each other and I bring a silly list or something like that. But at the end of this one, we're both just disappointed with the game. I mean, we were kind of a thing where we were just grumbling and because both of us, it wasn't really that satisfying because there was so much bad luck that both of us had had. I mean, with me, with my, my breaking and losing all the night goblins and all the really bad rolls against the marauders and, you know, my, my doom diver normally not doing anything. However, the one time the doom diver did hit, it totally wiped out all the night. So he wasn't happy about that. Obviously he wasn't happy about all the stuff that, you know, uh, the, how I came back with the magic at the end and, uh, how, my triple charge went and sent him so he was right in front of my giant and just one of those things where it was kind of too bad and I felt kind of bad about it but you know at the end of the day at least once we were able to calm down and get over all the bad luck we would had we can say you know what at least we had a kind of a crazy game where lots of crazy things happened and anyway hope you guys like watching it bye